You know, there's a lot of gulfs or gaps in the world today that are keeping people from Christ, that are keeping people away from Christ. You know, the reason why Jesus came 2,000 years ago was because there was a large gulf or a large gap that separated God from man. And it was called sin. And man could not get to God. Man could not reach God. Man could never go to heaven. This is the ultimate reason why Jesus came, because mankind could not get to heaven because the sin of mankind had created a gulf or a gap between God and man. It was impossible. There was nothing a man could do because we are all sinners. So God said, I need a bridge that will get man to God. And that was Jesus Christ. He came to bridge that gap. He came to bridge that gulf. The cross of Jesus Christ is what connects man to God and God to man. So Jesus came to be the bridge, and he's the only bridge, as we're going to see in, in just a few moments. But God has also called and ordained us to be bridges. Because there are people that are on the other side of hope, because they have no hope. But all they need is a bridge of hope, and God said, it is Christ in you, the hope of glory. You are called, you are ordained by God to be a bridge that leads others and brings others to Christ. There are people out there who think, God could never love me. I've done too many horrible things. I'm a sinner, I'm this, I'm that. And so therefore, there's a big gulf or a big gap between them and God, and there's no way they can ever get there. I've had people tell me over the years, I can't serve God, it's impossible. I've had people tell me, Pastor, if I walk into your church, the roof will collapse. Well, praise God, apparently a couple months ago, one of those people walked in the church because the back wall fell down. <clears throat> and it did. Well, hallelujah, there's a reason why God made roofers. I want the roof to collapse if you walk in. We'll just put another roof on. You're exactly who God wants, but people feel that way. They feel, I can't make it, I can never find God. There are people who want to believe in God, but they just don't believe that God is real. And so therefore there's a gap of unbelief between them and God. And God said, I have the solution for that. I'm going to send you to their lives so that you could be that bridge so they could see God alive in your life. We are the living proof that God exists. I don't need any scientists. God does not need scientists. God has put himself in you and in I. We are called to manifest the love of God to the world. We're called to manifest the hope of God to the world. We're called to manifest heaven to the world. That's who we're called to be. So God has put everything on the inside of us. We are called and ordained to be bridges that people could travel over to find God.